Good evening and welcome to our Committee of Adjustment meeting this June 19th, 2023, 630. Can I have a mover and a seconder to open the meeting? Moved by Councillor Jaworski, seconded by Councillor Bougie. Uh, have the meeting called to order at 6.38 p.m. All those in favor? Any opposed? Seeing none, carried. Are there any changes to the agenda? Oh, no, seeing none. Can I get a mover and seconder to approve the agenda as presented? Moved by Councillor Bougie, seconded by Councillor McDonnell. Uh, approve the agenda as presented. All those in favor? Any opposed? Seeing none, carried. Uh, do we have any approval from a previous meeting? I don't see them on the agenda, so that's uh, we'll, we'll move from there. Is there a declaration of pecuniary interest? Oh, is there? Sorry. Okay, so um, can I get a, a mover and a seconder to approve the meeting? So, uh, moved by Deputy Mayor Lang, seconded by Councillor McDonnell. Um, approve the minutes as they're presented. Just before I do that, were there any changes to the meeting mi minutes that anybody noticed? Okay, so um, all those in favor of that motion is read. Carried. Are there any declarations of pecuniary interest? Seeing none, let's get into new business. 5A1023, uh, 100089 Ontario, Inc. Uh, sign, Colonel Engineering Canada Incorporated. Uh, please proceed. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I will start with some required wording under the Planning Act. Is there a note? There we go. So this is a hearing under Section 44 of the Ontario Planning Act. Any person may attend this hearing and or make written or verbal representation either in support of or in opposition to the proposed minor variance. If a person, the applicant, or public body does not make oral or written submissions at this hearing before the minor variance is decided upon, their comments will not be considered by the Committee of Adjustment. Only the applicant, the municipality, and the Minister of Municipal Affairs or certain public bodies may appeal the decision of the minor variance of the Committee of Adjustment to the Ontario Land Tribunal, also known as the OLT, within 20 days of the decision. Uh, please note that the committee members have reviewed the application along with any written submissions received uh, in support or in opposition prior to the hearing. And in addition to today, we will hear oral submissions from any interested parties. Right here. So the subject property is legally described as Plan 26, uh, lots 2952 and part of lots 30 and 51, being part one on ref uh, reference plan 14R 4949 in the geographic village of Lancaster, now in the township of South Glengarry in the County of Glengarry, located at 18 Oak Street in Lancaster, and the subject property is approximately 0 0.74 acres in area. Uh, here's a map showing the subject property. Uh, just for reference, the little blue star would be there where the municipal office is located in Lancaster, so right down the street from there. The purpose of today's minor variance is uh, that the owner is proposing to renovate the existing 28-room retirement residence into a 17-unit apartment building uh, and they're requesting the following relief from Zoning Bylaw 3809 to reduce the uh, required parking under Section 4.1 from 26 to 22 spaces. Here's a site plan, and if we can go to the next slide, please. Here's a slightly more zoomed in version of the, uh, the proposed site plan with the north side facing to the left of the screen. Uh, so the parking is entirely proposed to remain in the rear of the property. Um, so there'll be one access off the back with pedestrian access to the, uh, the north side. And just some site photos showing this being the north side uh, where there's pedestrian access to the property. And on the next uh, slide, there are some photos of the entrance on the south side of where the proposed parking will remain. And just a few more visuals of that area. Uh, the property is designated residential district in the county official plan and falls within the urban settlement area of Lancaster and does conform to the general intent of the county official plan. Uh, and in our zoning bylaw, it's uh, zoned residential three and propo a proposed zoning bylaw amendment will be brought to council tonight to rezone at the uh, uh, council um, tonight to rezone the subject property to residential four exception five uh, and the proposed variance does conform to the general intent of the zoning bylaw as well. Uh, just a zoning map showing the current uh, residential three zoning as well as the surrounding uses including some floodplain to the south uh, institutional to the uh, east and west as well as residential and commercial throughout most of the, most of the area. 
Uh, the application was also circulated to abutting property owners within 60 meters and applicable municipal staff. Uh, we've not received any written or verbal comments to date. Uh, the application was also circulated to MTO, um, Ministry of Transportation, and they confirmed that this property is outside of their permit area. Um, and based on this planning and building department, support this application and recommend it to be approved. And we'll go on to questions from the committee. Are there any questions of the committee? I know we discussed the um, size of the rooms another day uh, previously. Any questions of the parking lot question in front of us? Councillor Jaworski. It's not so much a question, but a comment that it's uh, it's good to see this one move forward. And I know certainly when they talk about barriers to having a variety of housing opportunities and to encourage folks to build rental units and what uh, things similar to this or repurposing buildings that parking spaces are often listed as a barrier and that you know what's generally required does uh, make it much more difficult. And this seems like a very reasonable reduction to make this project go forward. So I'm glad to see it. Great. Uh, seeing that, is there a mover and a second to, to approve this? Moved by Councillor McDonnell, seconded by Councillor Bougie. Um, I guess we're to, to approve this application in front of us as uh, presented. All those in favor? Any if opposed? Seeing none carried. Is there a time for another the next meeting? Do we have a date set up for that? Uh, our next meeting will be scheduled for July 4th. All right, so that will be that one. Uh, could I have a mover and a seconder for adjournment? Moved by Councillor Jaworski, seconded by Councillor McDonnell. Um, move to adjourn to the call of the chair at 6.45 p.m. All those in favor? Any opposed? Seeing none, carried. Uh, thank you very much to the applicants and uh, have a